Nicky Hawkins, outside Upton Park, West Ham Fan TV. One word, Lukaku. He does it every time, doesn't he? And you think we'd know better, but in a day he's class, isn't he? Yeah. He's class, and you give him a sniff, you know, he could maybe knock Adrian for either making a decision to come out quick, stay on his line. You know, goalkeepers get a bit too much stick, in my opinion. He's got to make a decision. Lukaku's well known for doing stuff like that, and, you know, I think. It sort of it sort of summed up the way we sort of Pia done a brilliant little pirouette in the middle of the part an early part of the first yeah. half. He sort of done the same again, and that contributed to us getting that certain goal. But you're not going to not Pia for that. And you know it's, it's a team game. You, you defend as a team, you attack as a team. So let's talk about the game. We, we come out the blocks pretty well. Uh, it was it was it was a good it was a good backwards and forwards. Yeah. Then we got the goal. Lanzini got the goal. What a little special little player he is. You know we spoke about this before, didn't we? And uh, Paye is quality, but he is, the, he is the jewel for one reason. He is a quality player. We've got to sign him up. You know, he's worked great right with the ball, off the ball, you know, to try and get back. He's a slight little fella, but he's got strength and he, he can finish, can't he? Yeah. I mean, what I finished, I was at the other end of the pitch and I see the replay, I thought, what's a finish? It was quality. We got, we got a, 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 a good run at that left back. I don't think we got the ball out to the Moses enough in the second half. The second half we slowed down a little bit. They got their goal. It was just sort of like backwards and forwards. We wasn't using the players correctly, I don't no, think. After no. Paye went off, obviously yeah. the injury. Yeah. You know, what, what, what can we do to, to, to sort of like... What, how do we play without him? Difficult, isn't it? Um, it is difficult, and you can understand the manager scratching his head because Zerati, for me, is a really good technical player, and you can maybe play him... I'm not saying Paye has to play every game, and I'd love him on the pitch, but sometimes you think, so, you know, everyone studies videos and stuff, Paye is a, a really good player, but Zorati, for me, has got a really good technical, he's got a good touch, good vision, looks up. Um, Lanzini plays well off him, I think. Lanzini and, and um, Zorati, sorry, play really well together. And Antonio, I, I know it's not specifically talking about Antonio now, I think he's, he's, he's got to be itching like a, a wound up coil, hasn't he, Antonio, waiting to get on the pitch, and, and Moses give a little bit, but... Maybe he should have come on second half. I think half. he should. I think he should. I think he should have been given a go. Go on, son, have a go. See what you see. What you're all about. You Let's know. talk a little bit about the right. The right is a good player, but is he too predictable? It was the same thing over and over and over again. It's like watching an instant replay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought he'd done a lot more with the ball when he came on than Carroll did. I know he's stuck out on the on the wing a little bit. Right, when he was pushed out wide left, wide right, whatever. But um, between what in the pitch you're looking at, but Carroll. I think he's being managed. I think he's being managed with his fitness. Uh, he's it being economical with how, he, how many balls he chases, and he's being told not to go for, to try and manage his fitness, not to get injuries. Um, for me, I don't think he's done enough. In the end, let's wrap it up here. Are you happy with the draw? I am. I was happy with the draw ten minutes before full time. Brilliant. Thanks very much no for joining us. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Cheers, mate.